my name is Casco Zero Vlogs, and today I have a ghetto athlete that goes by the name of Shakari Richardson. All right, her name looks ghetto, she looks ghetto, but but let's not take her at face value. All right, let's just say that she isn't ghetto. What has she got herself into this time? You guys don't know who this chick is, she's basically a runner. I didn't know she existed until today. Someone sent me this video and said, hey Casco, could you react to it? I thought this would be a good video to share with you guys because black people do it to themselves. I made a video like that as of recently, as a short, full video coming out very, very soon. But I wanted to cover this topic for you guys because she is on an airplane, right? And supposedly, the narrative is that a ray-ist uh, flight attendant kicked her off the plane. But another side is saying that she spat on the flight attendant, right? And then another side is saying that it's because she wouldn't put her phone in airplane mode. I got the video right here. We're going to be watching it together to figure out exactly what the truth is. So without further ado, let's get into the video right now. So there's two parts to this uh, crazy video. This is the beginning part of it, and then we're gonna watch the aftermath when the flight attendant came up. They didn't have to do that. They just wanted to do it. They did. Mm -hmm. They did this all to all of us. So. Mm -hmm. They let other little people get away with doing shit. Already playing the race card. Right. And then, like I said, it was just the way he was talking to me. I said, exactly. I said, I could, I definitely would have listened to the instructions, but the way he was talking to me was very unprofessional. Unprofessional. And then his hands were all in my face. He didn't, he didn't dismiss that part. Yeah, so if I'm getting off the plane, I feel like as a flight attendant, they need a better flight attendant. He need to get off too. Get off the plane. Them long nails. I'm missing my connection. Oh, so you're worried about a connection? Oh, yeah. You're worried about a connection while a grown man is disrespecting me? So I don't give a sh. So I don't give a sh. do anything. So, Jesus. She's so ghetto, bro. Because I'm selfish. She's so ghetto. Okay. A signature? Oh, I don't got no pen in that moment. She wanted to just hilarious a little bit. So you guys kind of see, man. You know, she's having this ghetto energy. <laughs> just from looking at her, you wouldn't really respect this chick that much. Long nails, ghetto attitude. You know those people that look ghetto and look like poverty. No, I miss what you say. That's what she looks like. May I be explained to as to why I'm being removed from the plane? Okay, does the captain know the situation that happened before removing me? They made the call. So do they know that this man hands is all up in my face and he was very disrespectful and I felt threatened? Oh, now she felt threatened. That's fine. No, I want to. I want to talk to the captain because he was very unprofessional. Professional. I don't want you to get in trouble, Mama. I got you. I got money that I've been working. Come for why? I have to come off the plane. Is he going to be removed off the plane as well? The no. flight attendant? He's not going to be removed? No. Nope. I'm just trying to understand the situation. So he's not being removed after just being unprofessional and having his hand in my face? You get on, please, mother, let me know because I got one on here too. So can the captain come and does the captain know the situation? He's not going to come. No. Nope. So I'm being removed off the yep. plane without even being explained here. of why. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. What's the name of that? Does, what's his name? What's your name? Look at this chick. No, Just but you jumped in my video. That's what started this whole thing. And Gettle the video chick? shows you jumped in my video and invaded my you privacy. Need to get to you know that, right? So you're going to tell it's a possibility you can lose your job because I have evidence. It's not like I'm just talking. So I feel like you should own up right now to your actions because I have to be removed off the plane because of your actions. Mm. So I'm going to make sure that you have received the consequences for your actions. Okay? Look how petty that is. Okay? You understand that, right? You understand, right? Who are you talking to? You put my phone number? Right? Yes, I have your phone number. Look at all the people on the plane that are just like, get this yeah, ghetto chick out of here. Sir, if you say one more thing. 
All of y'all that are very, very rude. What are you gonna do? No. Masculine no, black female. I'm uh -uh. <laughs> hey, ten off. I promise you, everybody on this aircraft, y'all have no idea. Elliot versus Predator hair. Call me, when, call me when you do get off her. Yes, I am. Y'all have no idea. And I have the evidence, so I hope that you are okay with your action. Long nails. You, you want to make your flight so bad, but yet you don't understand and having integrity no, and being a decent person. You saw that, right? Yeah, I saw you making a video. Oh okay. <laughs> it was a video of my face, and he jumped in it. But it's a video, and y'all see <clears throat> on social media because y'all have no idea who I am. So, okay, bye. Yo. Oh, thank you so much, and I'm still a superstar. What the fuck is your problem? You're a regular person. What the fuck? Get off the plane. And you got kicked off like a regular person. Oh, I can get my private plane, dumbass. <laughs> Yo, okay, guys, I gotta, I, I gotta give my opinion on this uh, before we watch the second one. All right, so you guys can see people were actually happy that she got kicked off the plane. Do you know why? Because she's a ghetto person. All right, and from what I can tell, I don't know a lot about this chick, but I did some research before I made this video, kind of so I can understand what's going on with her. Uh, if you guys don't watch sports, I don't. Then I kind of update what's going on. So she won. She like won one of the World Cups or something like that. She she won a really big uh, um, sprinting event that kind of got her name out there. She ended up getting some sponsors. Ended up getting some clout. Yada yada yada. So she made a comeback and lost very very bad to j the Jamaican uh, sprinting team. Sorry if I sound ignorant. I don't know sports that well. But basically, she made a comeback. Right? She came back and lost very very bad. Then she came in last place, tenth place. Um, don't quote me on that, but I know she. I'm pretty sure she came in last place uh, when she w was going against these uh, Jamaican sprinting women. You know, those Jamaicans, they can run very, very fast. So then what ended up happening uh, is that they found, I believe, uh, I don't know if I can say the M word, but, you know, the, the, the Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg's favorite hobby. They found that in her uh, bloodstream, so she got disqualified. A bunch of stuff has been going on with her, right? Now, from what I can tell about this, this young lady, because I think she's 21, she's more obsessed or concerned with being famous than she is with being a champion or a athlete. Now, she's talented. Don't get me wrong. I'm not taking that away from her. She's very, very talented to even be running as fast as she does, but she's very, very arrogant and she's not confident. She's very, very arrogant and it's good to be confident in your abilities, but when you start being like, oh, this can never happen or... Or I know I can beat the entire crew and you amp yourself up to this degree and then you can't deliver. You look like an idiot. You look foolish. And that's one of the most dangerous things when people, the, the clouts are getting to their head. But yeah, it seems like she's getting too caught up in the media. And she's trying to be like, a, you know, a influencer, you know, trying to take the easy way out. But let's see the last part. Uh, and I guess this is actually the aftermath. So I kind of play this in the, in the wrong order. So the one I'm playing is what happened before. This was the aftermath. My my fault on that, guys. <laughs> Place it all the way under the seat in front of you. Lying. Larger carry-on luggage. Flying not working today. If you have small vacation time, devices, such as cell phones, tablets, and smart watches, okay. please yeah. switch them. I'm recording me, but you jumped yeah. in my video, so. Okay, you guys heard that, right? You guys heard with that, right? Check check it out. Listen to this part. It said your phones, your tablets, right? Hold up, let's listen to this. If you have small vacation time, such as cell phones, tablets, and smart watches, okay. please yeah. switch them. I'm recording me, but you jumped yeah. in my video, so I caught if you, you like because you jumped in. It says switch it into airplane mode. All right, what is she doing? She isn't recording; she's live streaming. The, it, it, it was announced. You have to turn it off. She's live streaming, meaning that she has. A connection going out and a connection going into her phone. She needs to put it in airplane mode, but she didn't want to do it. Proof is right there, guys. This isn't some R word stuff. This isn't some stuff where it's a conspiracy. No, this chick is being a pain in the butt. Hence why every single person was clapping when she got kicked off. Let's watch the rest of it. Video. You're harassing me at this point, so I think you should stop. I think you should stop. I think you should stop. You see him, right? Y'all see him, right? 
Y'all see him, right? Okay. Okay, but I'm sorry. It's not me. Talk to him. No, no, man. Don't talk to me like that. I'm an adult. Do not. Y'all hear that, right? I don't, I'm sorry I keep pausing, but I want you guys to really see, because I play this out of order. Look how this is escalating. She's like, y'all see that, right? Everybody's against her. Because she's being a pain in the butt. That's what it is. And she thinks she's special just because she's, a, I guess, a celebrity or whatever you want to call it. But you can tell she's trying to she's trying to be like Christian Rock or something like that. Like, sorry, you got to be a lot crazier than that to get more attention. Like, you, you started out as an athlete. You doing all this stuff is just ridiculous. You're going to lose your fan base and people aren't going to like you. If you start out with people already disliking you, that's fine. But if you start out with being like, oh, I'm a champion, you know, look up to me, and then you're doing this, I promise you, she's going to be, she's going to be a memory in the past. Talk to me like that. Do not talk to me like that. Tell him to stop. If you do not know what's going on, do not yell at me. You can stop recording. No, I'm not going to stop recording because I was making a video to myself. I'm going to not stop recording. And this video will show what you're doing. So I uh, would appreciate. Who the f you talking to, man? Thank you. Like, okay. no. <laughs> Place it all the way under the seat. All right, guys. So. You guys kind of see what happened. Everybody was already against this chick. There was nothing about the R word. Uh, I didn't see her spit on anyone, so I don't really know what they're talking about. I didn't see any spit. Maybe she did when the phone was down, but I, I didn't see her spit on anyone, so I'm going to cut that out. There was no spit. All right, there's no bodily fluids involved. Uh, there was no R word stuff going on. She was just being a pain in the butt. You guys heard clearly, put your tablets, smartwatches, and phones, and etc. in airplane mode. She was live streaming. Who's the problem? And this is common knowledge on all flights, all right? Common knowledge on all flights that you have to uh, stop it. You have to put yourself in airplane mode so the, uh, the plane can have uh, communications. That's a pretty important thing that you do need to actually turn your stuff off. But she didn't want to do it because she thinks that she's special. Or perhaps she wouldn't do it because she wanted this to turn into this. Like, women are crazy these days, man. But this is another ghetto chick that just so happened to have um, an athletic build you know she's very gifted uh, physically, but you can't take you can't change the mind. She has a ghetto mind. You know she's just basically a athlete version of uh, Cardi B and the rest of those bad bees. You guys get what I'm saying? So uh, I, I wonder what you guys think about this, man. Do you guys think it's the R word? You guys have a footage where she spat on somebody, or you guys think that she's just a ghetto athlete? That's what we're calling her, the ghetto athlete. I want to know you guys think it before you guys go, all right? You guys got to do me a favor. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Help me get my video out there. In this video, that's going to be it for the video. Remember, I'm not arrogant. I'm just confident. Thank you for watching.